go, both signs are done. One for each side, super and shoes. Last step is just to glue it onto the base. Now pick one, soup or shoes. No disembodied voice, it's not soup or shoes. It's two words, super and shoes. I said pick one, soup or shoes. <sighs> I, I don't know, soup? Wrong. So a regular Pez dispenser uses a spring on the inside to lift the contents up to the top. But springs don't scale very well, so I decided to go with a counterweight system instead. So for the weights, I'm gonna use these five pound lead fishing weights. I have four of these. And I'm gonna make four channels around the four corners of the Pez dispenser. Inside here, there'll be a platform that all the shoeboxes sit on, and they'll be counterweighted by four of those weights and using some pulleys. It's basically like an old style window that was counterweighted with cast iron weights in the sash. Except it's nothing like that because it's a giant Pez dispenser that dispenses shoe boxes. This is my job. So this contraption right here is what I'm calling the elevator platform. This sits in the center of the dispenser. The shoe boxes sit on top of that. The eye hooks get attached to counterweights on either side, and that's what lifts the shoe boxes up and out of the dispenser. The HDPE on the bottom acts as a slippery surface, which are guided inside tracks. It works good, but not 100%. I'm gonna do a little design change now. Add some aluminum angle and a few more bearings, so this works perfect. I don't know, soup?
magic trick. This is gonna overflow. So in editing, nobody's gonna know this is you because I'm gonna put my face right there on top of yours. Yes. <laughs> Talk to people, what are we doing? Playing vinyl on the vinyl stuff. <laughs> yeah, so talking to people. <laughs> you love talking to people. Not you those people. That's, you love talking to people with no camera. Not that's enough. everybody. You're literally talking that's to everybody the on the part. internet. Right there. Exactly. That's
So I installed this box here on top of the dispenser to hold the boot in place using these hinges. It does a great job at that, but makes it very difficult to load the boxes inside the dispenser, which is kind of a problem. So I'm gonna scrap this, redesign it, and build a box that's the full height of the dispenser instead of it being rigid and attached in place. That will slide inside the dispenser and you can lift it up to load the boxes in. Very similar to a regular pest dispenser. These are structurally reinforced shoe boxes. Probably a new sentence, but when I got these all assembled and stacked together, I saw how squishy they were, and that's just not gonna work inside the dispenser. So I added quarter inch plywood to the top and all the sides, and they're rock solid now. So that solved that problem, but created a new problem because these are about two pounds a piece. So only 10 of these is all it takes to take up a whole counterweight system with nothing in the boxes. So what I'm gonna do is take all this quarter inch plywood out cut a bunch of holes out of it on the CNC, basically making little trusses out of each of the sheets. So I should retain basically all my structural integrity, but my goal is to cut the weight of these in half. Genuinely, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch me build this thing. Down in the description, you'll find links to all the sponsors of this build, but obviously, I especially want to mention Super Shoes. Super Shoes is a chain of stores that offers a wide variety of, you guessed it, shoes, but also workwear. No soup though, sorry about that. Specifically, they carry my favorite Carolina shoe work boots, and also all the Carhartt gear that you saw me wearing in this video. They have store locations in the Northeast US, all the way from West Virginia up to Maine, but they also have a fantastic online store, which I will link down below. There's a link that'll direct you to all of their Carolina work boots, and another link that'll direct you to all of their Carhartt gear. For those of you who are curious about some stats on this dispenser, it measures in at a little over six foot seven inches tall, and weighs, including the counterweight system and the boxes that are inside, 120 pounds. Pounds. The counterweights are 20 pounds of lead and those can lift the eight shoe boxes that fit into this thing. The boot that I chose to carve for the top of this Pez dispenser is actually a Carolina logger that's exclusive to Super Shoes. And if you're curious, this thing is eventually gonna be on display at one of the Super Shoes store locations in Maine. Honestly, this whole thing was kind of an engineering nightmare, but if you guys know me at all, you know I like a challenge. Keep an eye on my Instagram feed to get behind the scenes updates on all of my builds. Oh, and did you know I have a Netflix show? That was just announced. It comes out the first week of March, but you can watch the trailer over on my Instagram account. Bye.